CLS is go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. CLS is go for main engine start. We have a go for main engine start. Main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. Houston now controlling the midnight ride of Rick Sterko and his crew to the International Space Station. Discovery rolling onto the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. Thirty-two seconds into the flight. The three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance down in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic. Discovery three and a half miles in altitude, four miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by for the throttle up call now from Capcom Eric Bowe. Discovery. Cap, you go ahead, throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Rick Sterko, joined on the flight deck by pilot Kevin Ford, flight engineer Jose Hernandez, and Pat Forrester. Seated down on the mid deck are Danny Olivas, Krister Fugelsang of the European Space Agency, and Nicole Stott, hitching a ride for three months on the International Space Station. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. All of Discovery systems performing normally, 17 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging, the onboard computers steering the shuttle for its precise path to the International Space Station. Kevin Ford in control of the stick at this moment. Sonic Discovery now going subsonic, the fleet leading shuttle announcing its arrival at the landing site with a pair of sonic booms. The late afternoon sunshine gleaming off its thermal protection heat shield. Three minutes until touchdown. Rick Sterko has taken back the stick from Kevin Ford. The vortices off the wings, very obvious. Discovery continuing its turn around the heading alignment circle, aligning with runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base. Discovery, on at the 180. On at the 180. The slow, gentle turn around the heading alignment circle. Commander Rick Sterko will soon align Discovery with runway 22, time to touch down two minutes. Discovery, on at the 90. On at the 90. Runway 
inside, Houston. Discovery, we copy. This view from the uh, heads-up display camera, the same view that uh, Rick Sterko and Kevin Ford are seeing now that we're aligned with runway 22. One minute until touchdown. Discovery right on the center line. Moments from now, Rick Sterko will flare up Discovery's nose. Pilot Kevin Ford will deploy the landing gear. Pre-flare maneuver conducted. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Kevin Ford now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, California, wrapping up a 5.7 million mile mission to resupply and fortify the International Space Station. Tim Cobra home after 58 days in space.